Hi guys, you're now gaming here. Welcome to another kind of video uh, on our planes. It's another plane video. If you look at this, this is the Boeing 767, I think, or is it 757? I'm not sure. Uh, link will be in the description. Oh my god, I've gone out again. There we go. Uh, it's very, very nice, and I love the interior. I love it. All of these gauges are working. This is how good this aircraft is. It's got vertical speed. It's got fucking everything. It's so nice. This is straight in from, I think, X-Plane, I think, or something. It's so nice. And you can tell it's not a GTA interior because of how fucking amazing it is. So... Yeah, it's got full, full working landing lights and everything shit like that. But um, if you look into the pinwheels, spin the engine, it's so, so cool. And it's got the uh, the feature skin, I should say, the skin it comes with. But uh, I guess some people have probably made something. Uh, this is probably the worst taxiway in the game. I don't know if I can actually test this. Yes, I can. Wow. Wing clearance. We're going to need the whole runway for this aircraft because it is very hard to get in the air. But the, the yoke is working straight for me. I love it. The radar is not working, but everything else is. Everything. GTR Skyline Freak. So he's a great maker of aircraft. So if you want an aircraft for GTA, look in his direction. He is the one making them all. Most of the ones in my video are some from GTR Skyline Freak or two of the three. We're going to be getting some very nice altitude today. If you look, all of my dials are working vertical speed. massive jetliner that is used today. It's in service in kind of poorer middle third world countries. Uh, kind of like Indonesia, like that. it's not third world, but you get what I mean. Like China and stuff, which don't have the A380s and stuff yet, they're not being shipped across yet. So they're using their kind of Boeing aircraft, which is still great aircraft, and this is a very good aircraft. I have flown on one of these myself, uh, they are so nice. So we're starting to get both the uh, clouds right here. This we are cruising altitude like um, this is about this really nice. And so comes in speaking, we are now at cruising altitude, you are now free to walk around the cabin and see what sign has just been turned off. You are still not uh, permitted to smoke uh, anything on board the aircraft, even in the toilets. Uh, they are smoke detectors fitted in there for your own safety. And uh, your in-flight service will uh, commence shortly. So I do want to be quite well, I'll stick it. It does really make it uh, a little bit nicer. It's 
if you look underneath us, uh, the city does look beautiful, and I have fixed some of the uh, texture walls. Some. So don't quote me on that, because you will still see it. Uh, but if you look, we're not losing textures, and we're still not losing many frames, and it still looks decent. So yeah. So we've got a, uh, an aircraft just to move on the side. This is one of the busiest airspaces, this hunts this side, uh, is where all the big jets fly. So we're starting to come into our um, first approach. And as we're lowering down our altitude, just a tiny bit, just to increase power, just to get a bit of height over this mountain. Now we've got a lot more altitude. Ah, that's good. Listen, we're going to start our first approach, so can you please make your way back to your seats? Uh, our first approach into the video. Listen, uh, we've been diverted to Zancudo. Uh, that's the thing that's just happened with the Sandy Shores. They want to divert to Zancudo. So that's a uh, fan of so. Yeah, I just decided I didn't want to land the Sandy Shores anymore, so we're just going to divert. Uh, Thank you, that's how I uh, diverting to your runway because of an accident that's happened to Sandy Shores. Thank you. So, we're gonna. Whoa, oh, speed up! Jeez, he was close. He should have really pulled up because he was a bigger aircraft, but okay. Let's see, we get close to the ground, he's still gonna get some technical loss, but you know. Fine. Let's get to more on final approach. Have a good deal, automatic cross check and the port, please. Time cruise it's flying, time cruise it's flying. You should all be passing in the middle of the seats right now. And uh, in my opinion. So we're going to start to pull back on the power in the cabin. I'm going to pull up on the yoke. Flying it down in neutral right now. Try so flying it down in neutral. I'm not just going over the thirty. Oh, look at that! There's thrust. And we can taxi, taxi, taxi. Pull to the right. Pull to the right. Freaking aircraft every time I land, spawns in, picks me up. So we're going to taxi up to the, um, so we're going to touch and go, aren't we? We're going to taxi and get back on the runway just to take off, just because that jet's on the runway. So we can't really go to touch and go anyway, to be honest. Oh, damn. Oh! Well, it's fine. I'm going to taxi back off. This is a very difficult taxi. First, we'll just play some air brakes right here. Slow it down a little bit. Go to clearance, yes we do. Just make sure, okay, we've got the aircraft taken up over there. Just make sure there's no kind of aircraft or vehicles in the way kind of getting in our way. Okay, barracks, barracks, stop, 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 stop. Except for he's in our taxiway because he's a total fucking retard. That's it, move forward, dickhead. It's alright, definitely not a problem for the aircraft at all. Yo, touch, 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 thank you. 
Who's your captain? Speaking, we're going to be taking off out of San Kilo right now, just making sure there's no aircraft in the runway, because there usually is aircraft landing in this area. Fuck's sake, don't do that shit to me, game. Fuck off, game. I want to be a first person, there we go. That's the thing I hate about controlling. It just doesn't get me into the mode right. You got fire and standby right there. Okay, we're going to power up the engine. Let's just look at our instruments. Uh, close take off. Now we need more speed. Captain speaking, we are now on our way back to uh, Los Santos International Airport. If you look at our left hand side, you can see the beautiful waters around Zancudo. They're very blue this time of year. Quite a heavy background here. Oh, a bit too heavy, I think. Yeah. It's alright, it's alright. It's leveling out. Drive it in neutral in right now, so it's going to be quite a slow, slow roll. It's not like the Airbus 380 in the game where you have to really hold down on the right trigger to keep it up in the air because it's a really heavy aircraft. I just need to put a little bit back on the yoke just to keep the aircraft pulled up a little bit, otherwise, its nose will just kind of dip, which is quite annoying with the physics in GTA. It's not the aircraft itself, so. We're just going to uh, give it a little pull back every so often just to keep it on track. If you look on our left hand side, let's just see the stars of a switchy beach in the interstate. It's very, very cool. Just dial a little light bank and we're going to grab some speed while we're down here. Um, we're going to lower our aircraft right down. We're going to do kind of a, a water, a water thing. As you know, we just touched the uh, ground. Right engine failure, right engine failure, right engine failure. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to abort. That's a bolt, we can't land. Can I have the cruise on standby? I've got black smoke coming out of my engine, I've got a failure. Yeah. Right engine failed. Yeah! <laughs> okay now. Failed. Jeez! The left engine just totally went and you just see the dip on that aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain speaking. He tries to make an emergency landing right now. Our uh, right engine has totally died on us. Uh, we're going to make a touch and go on the runway just to see how we can get it. Uh, we're going to need to make another connecting flight back to uh, Zakudo to get repairs because they don't have any repair kits here. So I'm going to have to repair. Yeah, we're going to keep our speed going. Now we're going to speed very quickly with only one engine. Look, Captain can please do not freak out. Please do not freak out. The Captain does have this under control. Oh, shit, he's dipping like fuck. So we're going to have to shock hold. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to gain that much. Uh, can I have a low fly, please? Uh, we do not be able to gain much altitude. We're going to have to carry on gaining altitude. There's no other flight path available. So we're going to have to gain altitude even though we've got one engine. Well, we're fucked. I'm pulling up all the way, and this is everything I've got. It's everything the aircraft's got right now. Yeah, this is our max flight. I don't care what control says. We're staying at this. We're going to have to keep an eye out on aircraft. Hopefully we'll have a second engine failure. Oh, I saw a piece fly off the engine, so I was like, oh, fuck. 
I saw the smoke and I was like, screw it, screw it. This is, yeah, the engine's totally blacked out on me. Yeah, I've got, yeah, my control's saying it's at 28.7 right now. And down there, it's at 0 0.5 on the right engine. At 59, so it's going to get max power on the left. So, yeah, we're pretty fucked. That's coming at a very weird angle. I'm trying to come in. Uh, Sunny control tower. Uh, all flights postponed. All flights postponed. Go in emergency landing sequence right now. And we don't have enough power to put down our landing gear, so we're screwed. So we're gonna try landing. We're still getting uh, enough power out of our left engine to keep us in the air. A real aircraft with two engines. Uh, it's set. It can, can fly on one engine, it's just a lot harder for the pilot to control because it will want to drift to the right a lot more because it needs no power coming from there. And the left engine will want to lift, the right engine will want to go down. So yeah, that's so what we're trying to keep contain. That's why I'm slightly banking the left constantly. Look, if I let go of the controls... Yeah, we can't do that. And then I'm going to struggle to try and get it back under control. Um, yeah, so real uh, thing can fly on one engine all the time. Uh, they always literally come fly on one engine, so if you have an engine failure with two, they can fly on one engine. If it's a four engine plane, it can fly on two engines. It can always fly on half of its engines. It always have the extra engines just to make sure it's fail safe. So if two do fail, you've not just fucking lost all your engines. You have all your engines there. Yeah, the people inside want to be freaking like fuck. Control. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make a bank right over these windmills. I'm trying to find Sandy. Okay, we've come in at the complete wrong angle. Oh! Dog! Pull one! Yoke it, yoke it, yoke it, yoke it! Right, 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 okay. So I'm left, I'm left, fly over the plane graveyard. This flying is screwed, 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 screwed to the max, screwed to the max, screwed to the max, screwed to the max. Bank left, bank left, bank left. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Second engine failure, second engine. Control, control, we have a second engine failure. All engines are down, all engines are down. I just fucking crashed the game. Well done, mate. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. Comment down what you thought. And I'll see you guys next episode. <laughs> Peace. Sorry about the crash.